up your brains, Trivia Nation. The night is falling and the quiz biz is where it is. So pull up a chair while I fly through the air in some snazzy, snazzy, snazzy menswear. This is your boy, Money Flippin' Matt Richards, the easy-going, question-throwing, once-a-night-showing, master of ceremonies, trapped inside your cellular phonies. Who's ready for a trivia game, huh? This guy. Little bookkeeping before we start, okay? On Tuesday, we asked which nation declared war on Japan before the US did. Turns out there were two right answers. And when HQ blows it, we fix it. So, if you guessed United Kingdom, watch out for that free life. It's coming your way. Also, I'm sure most of you know the drill by now. 12 questions are about to fly at your face. Hopefully one at a time, okay? And everybody who hands in 12 right answers will get their slice of tonight's $5,000 prize pot. $5,000! Woo, look at that. Will you sail to glory or get a bad category? And since we got you here, we like to spotlight a great charity that's helping out during tough times. Tonight, it's a place called home. A safe haven for kids and families in South Central Los Angeles. For 26 years, a place called home has enriched young people aged 8 to 22 with holistic daily programming in education, the arts, and health and wellness. Empowering them to be happier, healthier adults. In the wake of COVID-19, all their programming and counseling has pivoted to online formats and a program to deliver groceries and necessities to 300 families a week, letting everyone stay distanced but far from disconnected. We like that so much, we're matching our prize money in a $5,000 donation with our thanks. Actually, here's a message from their director, Gilbert. Take it away, Gilbert. Hello, everyone. I'm Gilbert Redio, the director of Special Initiatives and External Relations with A Place Called Home. At A Place Called Home, we provide a safe, nurturing environment with proven programs in arts, education, and wellness for the young people in South Central Los Angeles to help them improve their economical conditions and develop healthy and fulfilling and purposeful lives. We are staying positive, we're connecting with our families, with our community, and every week we're providing thousands of meals, we're providing paper good products, we're providing all the programs that we have already provided in the past and we cannot make that possible without your support from every child that we support to every family member and our staff thank you thank you thank you thank you so much gilbert and if you age cuties would like to help a place called home go to apch.org check them out all right well, i think it's about time for the big throwdown have you updated your brain to the newest operating system but then scanned it for unnecessary files that'll slow you down you gotta delete those. Like that puppy video you saw the other day. It's cute, but you don't need it in there. It's taking up space. If you got all that done, you might be ready. Okay, cause as usual, we're not letting up. We got questions in history, geography, and science mixed in with the fun stuff. Trust and believe. So be on your guard and don't let the savagery slip up on you. All right? As we kick it off with question number one. Which of these does the earth revolve around? Mars, the sun, or Saturn? Mars, Saturn, or the sun? I read it out of order. Well, you got it. Made this one easy, okay? We didn't even make the moon a choice, and people will sometimes guess that. One reason it's called the solar system is that it all revolves around the sun, son. Yeah. 67,000. 405, got it right, 67,405. Question number two is just around the river bend. Here we go. What kind of cake is made with 16 ounces each of butter, sugar, eggs, and flour? What's it gonna be? Bun cake, pound cake, or sponge cake? <laughs> I just started thinking about cake for a second. I was like, what? Sorry, sometimes the answer is right in front of you, making you hungry. Uh, the name has nothing to do with British money or hitting the ingredients. But the unit of weight, when it's finished, you might pound back a slice of pound cake. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what I'm going to do when I leave here. 63,968. Got it right. Pound cake. Cake, 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 cake. Good job, babies. Q3. Here we go. I'm going to read this one all the way through. Q3. Which of these party games is normally packaged with writing utensils? Pictionary, taboo, or trivial pursuit? What's it gonna be? All right, 
This game originally contained pencils, but they've since changed to markers and a little whiteboard. And it's a good thing, because you're gonna need them all to draw all those Pictionary drawings. 60,393. Got it right. Now see, I would've picked Taboo, because I know it's got a notepad in it, but you got to provide your own writing utensil for that one. Question number four, knocking on your door. Here we go. In what country did the Fandango originate? France, Austria, or Spain? Fandango. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, did you get the right answer? Thunderbolts and lightning, HQ is excitingly. We skipped Galileo, because he's from Italy. Unlike the Fandango, which started in Spain and later parts of Portugal. Magnifico! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 52,758 got it right. Spain, babies! That's where the Fandango got started. Yee yee! All right, here we go. Question number five. All the way live. To propagate a plant, it is best to cut it closest to where? A leaf, a node, or the roots? For plant propagation. Where are you making the cuts? Don't try this with animals, but a lot of times you can turn a plant into two plants through propagation. Yeah, but the experts will tell you, cut a little bit below the node. Yeah, do that. That's not how you make a cat dog, y'all. One fine day with a wolf and a purr, a baby was born and caused a little stir. 37,730 got it right, a node. I saw a video on YouTube, dude had a tree with so many different types of fruit. Now I need a yard so I can have a tree of many fruits. Okay, question number six, here we go. Which of these former US presidents has authored a children's book? George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, or Barack Obama? Out of the three, which one of these former presidents wrote a book for the children? Okay, writing a kid's books, it must be like a low stress job after you've led America through every kind of crisis. I'm surprised more ex-presidents don't do it. But from these names, we only have of the I sing. It's a letter to my daughters by Barack Obama. Now I'm wondering what uh, Donald Trump's children, oh my gosh, that's a savage question. Trump's would be like, all right, we're gonna have some blocks. And believe me, nobody knows blocks better than me. Shapes, animals, uh, children's things. You know, I, it's gonna be huge. <laughs> Use those lives, babies, that's what they're there for. Drop the lives and the children will let them know that you can use the blocks to build a wall in your room. <clears throat> 11,000 lives got used just now. Huge, huge extra lives. So big, bigly, bigly lives. <laughs> All right, question number seven. Here we go. Which US state's flag has the most sides? Arizona's, Minnesota's, or Ohio's? for a U.S. state flag with the most sides. Four sides is very close to a hard rule for state and national flags, but in both cases there are, there's one exception, with a rare five-sided flag. The Nepal of America is Ohio. Look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> five-sided flag. 15,362 of y'all knew that. You came to play, I came to pay. We got five more questions until the $5,000 jackpot, y'all. Let's go to work. Come on, get with it. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. Woo! Nate, what's up, dog? Look a little tan, huh? Oh, it's because you live in the sun. That's why. Uh, <laughs> it's the sunshine. You in Florida, Nate? Maybe, I don't know. He doesn't have a mask on. Cause he doesn't have a face. He's got two holes. Corona just blew right through. Okay, question number eight. What does Rolex make their own supply of in-house? Diamonds, gold, or glass? What's it gonna be? This may not be impressive if you can afford a Rolex cause you could probably do the same thing, but to ensure the highest quality, Rolex uses their in-house foundry to produce all the gold in their watches. It's crazy, 9,909 players got it right. That's about the price of a used Rolex. 
Maybe, and it's got scratches on it, but if anybody's got an old one lying around, DM me, and I'll let you know where you can send it to me. That's a belated birthday gift. Question number nine, here we go. What? Quackers? Was that you? All right, let me get through the question first, Quackers, and then we can give them a gift drop. Which of these films is not an adaptation of Henry James's The Turn of the Screw? The Innocence, 1961, The Others, 2001, or The Turning, 2020? It's got everything. Worrisome kids? Check. Big house? Check. Spooky atmosphere and spirits about? Check, check, check. While Nicole Kidman's supernatural thriller was arguably inspired by this old story, The Others definitely doesn't follow James's book. The Others 2001 is the answer I was looking for. Who got it? 6,809 players in the running still. And then those of you that are using extra lives. For more trivia. We're seeing a lot of comments about gold. You know what we meant? <laughs> I love gold. Remember gold member? Okay. Question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in. Here we go. Which artist has name dropped the composer of West Side Story in one of their songs? Billy Joel, Colin Hay, or Michael Stipe? Who's it gonna be? Who can it be now? Well, actually, it's not Colin Hay of Men at Work. He was busy writing great Aussie pop, okay? But in a deluge of really fast lyrics about this and that, R.E.M.'s Michael Stipe mentioned Leonard Bernstein in End of the World as We Know It. Take a listen. It's the end of the world as we know it. But it's not the end of the quiz, because we got two more questions to the ju Quackers! <laughs> That's savage right there! Oh! <laughs> Just hit me in the face with a duck. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I'm gonna get somebody else. It doesn't hit me in the face. Baby Quackers. All right, congratulations. Sorry if your dog's going crazy right now. No, I'm not. I love dogs. All right. Tap the gift drop and let us know what you got. I should have ducked. <laughs> Do it again. Whoa! Nice try. <laughs> Question number 11. All ducks go to heaven except the one that hit me in the face because there's a special place for that one. Question number 11. Which invention came from the Chinese dynasty, sharing its name with the main Fast and Furious driver? Toilet paper, dominoes, or wheelbarrow? What's it gonna be? There's nearly a dozen people in the main cast of these films now, and most go by short names like Dom, Mia, Hobbs, Shaw. Our favorite drifter, Han, has the same name as the Chinese dynasty that gave us wheelbarrows. Yeah! Oh boy! Oh, Nelly! Savage! Woo! This is exciting, huh? Yeah, it is. 976 players, and whoever's using an extra life is moving on to the final question of the game! 347 lives just got dropped. This might be a chunky prize. Let's see, baby! Final question of the game. This has been exciting. We had some savagery. Last question was just savage. This is it for all the marbles. We still have 1,323 in the game because of the extra lives. That's what they're there for. All right, here we go. Q12. Which of these baseball legends did not wear a Mersenne Prime number on their jerseys? Joe DiMaggio, Mickey Mantle, or Babe Ruth? Mersenne prime number. Well, the sport is so obsessed with statistics, there have to be a couple nerds who get this, okay? Right? A Mersenne prime is a power of two minus one, like the three that the babe wore, or Mickey Mantle's seven, but DiMaggio's five is not Mersenne. We have 511 winners of HQ Trivia, baby! Joe DiMaggio! <laughs> You ain't never met no Martin Luther King. Joe DiMaggio. Oh, good job. Oh boy. That's what I like to see. 
winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah! Shout out to Veg02 with the tiger mask and happy smile and Quizzle83 and BMT94 and Veleram and Zoliot, Zo, Zoilot, <laughs> Nat Natalica and Beast1406 and Alavisco and Han and Retrofitted and Brandini and Joel Geek and CC America, uh, Billy, all of you. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. Y'all did that. I'm so proud. Everybody's $9.78.79 richer. Well played and well won to all of you who won. But uh, everybody who works on their brain is a winner. And their prize is another workout tomorrow. Same time, same app. It's always good to have you. Remember that charity I told you about, A Place Called Home, giving a leg up on life itself to youth all over South Central LA. They're at APCH.org and every donation makes a difference in the lives of the children. Until I see you again, this is Money Flippin' Matt Richards asking, or saying rather, I'm, I'm saying this to you. You know things are crazy when you see someone wear a mask into the bank and you think, you know, it's nice to see folks looking out for each other. <laughs>